Hello, Namaste. Welcome to Telugu NRI Radio. This is your RJ Arvind, live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Friends, hope everybody is doing well during this COVID-19 lockdown. As you know, every week we bring one topic of your interest that is current so that we all can share some information, some knowledge out of this. As you all know, June 21st is recognized as United Nations International Yoga Day. 21st being the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere. On the suggestion of Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, United Nations General Assembly unanimously passed recognizing June 21st as the International Day of Yoga a practice that starts from India for physical, mental, and spiritual growth of everyone. Friends, International Day of Yoga is celebrated across 177 countries, all the member nations of the UN. India, the land of ancient rishis, where the practice of yoga, meditation, pranayama, all these originated, it has produced saints who have always shows, showed us path. They have guided the citizens. Today we are going to discuss about one such meditation practice. Friends, on the occasion of International Yoga Day, we are going to discuss about Sahaja Yoga, an organization that was formed, that was founded by Her Holiness Sri Nirmala Devi, also fondly called as Sri Mataji by the Sahaja Yoga practitioners. Today, I have with me two distinguished and experienced Sahaja Yoga meditation practitioners, Miss Cornelia Waker, who is originally from Austria, but now in Oak Island, North Carolina, and also we have with us Mr. Narasimha Rao, originally from India, but right now in Charlotte, North Carolina. So Ms. Kalindya and Mr. Narasimha Rao, welcome to Telugu Nara Radio. Hello, thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, I'll just wait for your questions, I guess. Yeah, Mr. Narasimha Rao. Are you Thank, on you, the show? Thank you. Thank you, Arvind. And hello, everyone, and Namaste, everyone. Yeah. So, for the listeners who have joined late, today we are going to discuss about Sahaj Yoga meditation on the occasion of International Yoga Day, which falls next Sunday, June 21st. So, if you are listening, if, if the listeners are from US, please call us at 919 701 and if you are in India, 970-522-2005. And if you are in UK, 115-888-2005. But the best way to reach us is on Skype. Please call us at Telugu NRA Radio. That's a Skype ID. So without any further delay, I would like, you know, let's start the discussion. So my first question actually would go to Mr. Narasimha Rao. Uh, can you explain what is Sahaja Yoga Meditation? Just sure. briefly define Sahaja Yoga meditation. Sure. Uh, hello, everyone, again. Uh, Sahaja Yoga is a meditation technique started, as Aravind explained, by Shimataji Nirmala Devi back in 1970 in India. This, the definition of Sahaja Yoga, the meaning of this Sahaja Yoga is Sahaja, the Sanskrit word Sahaja means born with and Yoga, the actual meaning of the word yoga is union, the connection. 
so this sahaj yoga means there is an energy that we are all born with and that we are connecting to the all pervading power or we call it as universal divine power we call the divine power in different names so this sahaj yoga basically means it is connecting the energy within us to the divine energy that's what is sahaj yoga is yeah thank you mr nishima rao uh, i think we'll dig a little deeper as we proceed uh, with our uh, like you know discussion uh, no miss cornelia i wanted to understand uh, like you know can you give us a background of uh, sahaj yoga meditation like you know uh, how many countries uh, is it being practiced uh, i mean as mr narsimha rao uh, has mentioned it started in 70s uh just give an overview like you know roughly how many people practice if you have any idea about it and in the united states if you know some stats uh, around that i might not really be good on the numbers but i do know that it's uh, practiced worldwide um uh, like you mentioned earlier i actually grew up in austria and that's where i was introduced to sahaja yoga meditation and at that point uh it was 50 to 70 countries in the world but as you just mentioned earlier the international yoga day is celebrated in many more and mm-hmm. over the years you know me practicing this now for almost 30 years this uh, sahaja yoga has spread worldwide into i think in into every nation you can imagine like if you think of me sitting here in oak island north carolina i don't know if anybody has heard about this uh, coastal island but even here we have uh, um about uh, you know a handful of yogis and some of them are actually from england one is from california and then it's my husband who is from ohio and myself and we are spreading uh you know the the message by meetings and i think you'll be discussing that a little bit later sure sure uh, sorry to interrupt you i think we have a mm-hmm. caller now uh, oh. uh, hello oh, welcome to telugu nara radio who's this hello uh, can you hear us can you introduce yourself please i think maybe there is a technical difficulty sorry to interrupt uh, yeah you you can uh, move on uh, miss cornelia uh no no worries um so it it uh, it it does spread by the established yogis that spread on the word right it has started in 1970 and it actually started with shimata she traveling on her own account throughout the world and um you know um I wouldn't say by chance but she met the she's uh, first country that she visited outside of India she was born in Maharashtra uh and the first country that she visited outside of India after selling her gold bangles was actually the United States she visited a small town in Ohio mm-hmm. uh, Tiffin Ohio uh, where she met with um, a group there and uh, gave that experience of sahaja yoga meditation to to a handful of people right and that's how it started to spread after okay. that she visited many many more times right um to spread the message to give lectures and uh to foster that movement and to give uh, a little bit more knowledge uh behind it okay um, good to know that good to know that yeah i think um i my next question was actually uh, related to uh, her holiness uh, shri nirmala devi uh, so mr narsimha rao I, i wanted to understand like you know india is blessed with uh, several like sages who actually descended upon and then guided people when needed uh, i'm uh, i think the founder of sahaj yoga her holiness mata ji nirmala devi also falls in the same category can you oh, like you know throw some light uh, on her like you know life uh, in brief and then like you know some accomplishments sure shri mata ji nirmala devi actually born in 1923 21st march which is an equinox day 21st march 1923 she born in uh, the central part of india is called chindwada in madhya pradesh and uh, she had in the early in the anger age she was in a medical college in lahore 
and then she had to be coming into the independent struggle and she joined uh, mahatma gandhi in his ashram and she was with him and in fact uh, she was discussing a lot of spiritual aspects with uh, mahatma gandhi during her time with uh, mahatma in the ashram and uh, she had she had a lot of uh, background that uh, her his her mother was actually a christian mm-hmm. and she was uh, the first mathematics honors graduate from india and her, her father was a very distinguished person and scholar in 14 languages and he has actually translated quran into his own mother tongue marathi okay so yeah that that's what her background is and uh, her early life she was into independence struggle and uh, she had gone through a lot of uh, struggles through independence struggle time okay and uh Uh, how did uh, like you know the the spread i mean as miss colnelia has mentioned like you know she traveled across the globe uh, to spread the message uh, a- any a- any thing you want to add in that area like you know how this journey like you know started i think almost 50 years ago uh, and how it spread here in united nation uh, united states and then like you know Uh, do you have any idea like you know how many cities like you know it is being practiced yeah sure mm. just to continue where uh, where i just stopped that she she was married to a uh, north indian person called uh, cp shivatsawa she he was a ias officer and later became uh, secretary to the prime minister lal badu shastri and then he was into united nations so mm-hmm. at her uh, age of 48 Uh, in 1970 uh, when actually she was mother of two daughters called kalpana and sadhana she started this sahaj yoga practice that that's when she started and in fact the day is the may 5th that's when she started this sahaj yoga on uh, in 1970 and she started as currently i mentioned she came to us and then she because her husband was a un united nations Marine employed the, that time. He was in very senior positions in United Nations. Then they moved to London because of his job, and she moved to London as well. And she started spreading in London sometime towards the end of 70s or in the 80s. And then she started moving to different countries um, because of uh, her husband's job, and uh, she started uh, moving just for the spreading of this uh, yoga. And she started giving uh, self-realization to many people in all over the world. and there are lot of people who are inspired by her and learned this knowledge and technique of meditation benefited in many ways okay uh, i think we may have a caller now just we'll pause for a second uh, hello who's uh, who's this welcome to atul ganar radio hello, hello sir hi. can you can you hear me yes yeah who's this can you introduce yourself uh, yeah this is Mohan Reddy from the New Jersey. Yeah, hi Mohan Reddy. Uh, welcome to Telugu Radio. Do you have any question or any comment for uh, like you know Mr. Narsimha Rao or Cornelia? You want to add anything uh, for the on the Sahaj Yoga uh, meditation? Right, uh, right, right, right now I am okay. So then I will continue this one. So if I get definitely, I will do that one. You, you have any question now? No. you want to add anything any comment about sahaj yoga meditation no not not right now okay thank you so much thank you for calling uh yeah so mr narsimha rao l- l- let's continue where we paused okay and uh, she she got a lot of honors and recognition from different countries in 1986 uh, she was declared by the government of italy as personality of the year mm-hmm. and um, in new york 1990 to 94 invited by the united nations for four consecutive years to speak about the means to achieve the world peace and in 1993 in russia she was appointed as honorary member of the petrovskaya academy of art and science there are many many more awards she was uh, she received uh, one prominent among them is by class nobel who is actually grand nephew of uh, alfred nobel 
and also the chairman of United Earth, honored her life and work in a public speech at the Royal Albert Hall. Okay. Uh, again, uh, like you know, just I want to interrupt you for a second. And uh, do we have a caller now? Uh, uh, hello. Hi. Welcome to Telugu uh, Radio. Uh, Who's this? Hi, Arvinder. Ravinder Reddy from uh, North Carolina. Yeah. Hi, Ravinder. Uh, welcome to Telugu Radio. You have a ca- question? Yeah. I, I, well, uh, thanks for uh, you know arranging this session. You know. you know we we have this international yoga day coming up i mean in the in the same light i just started doing yoga about couple of weeks back i started yeah. feeling good uh, just one uh, maybe a silly questions don't mind narsimha rao ji and uh, cornelia ji just want to understand how this sahaja yoga is different from a normal uh, i i do sun salutation and uh, breathing exercise every day but how can i start practicing is sahaja yoga and i mean i just wanted to know a little bit more about it sorry if it's explained already i just lost no it, no it is not i think we were just going over the background of the organization but i think we will get there uh, so okay. uh, i'll leave it up to mr narsimha rao or ms cornelia if you want to answer it now or we just move forward like you know when we that's my next question actually <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry for hijacking your question but no, i'll no be problem. listening in uh i'll be dropping out now because in the view of other callers but i'll sure. be listening and i'll be happy to you know understand everything you know how it goes how it works okay thank you so much thank you for calling in uh, uh telugu nara radio again uh, listeners who are actually uh, listening to this program today we have uh, miss cornelia and mr narsimha rao from sahaja yoga meditation so please do call us if you are in us at 9197012005 and 9705222005 and if you are in uk 1158882005 and on skype you can always reach us at telugu nara radio so without any further delay i would like you know give it uh, like you know back to mr narsimha rao uh, so let's continue sir okay uh, cornelia would you like to take the question that mr ravindra asked sure i think it's important right that we do speak about the difference from this uh, yoga to maybe other yogas and then also um um realizing that uh, again uh, as mentioned earlier the yoga is really the union the establishment uh, between you and the all pervading power uh that surrounds us uh some call it god some call it all pervading power of uh, love or param chaitanya and once you have that connection established you actually get uh, become vibrationally aware and also at the same time you become thoughtless what actually uh triggers that experience and again this is an individual personal experience but can be verified by you feeling a cool breeze either on your hands or on top of your head where you had your soft spot as a baby the fontanelle bone area there is a dormant energy within every human being uh, it is called kundalini it is dormant in the uh, uh, um, triangular bone area in three and a half cores and mm-hmm. shimata shinyamala devi had that experience on a universal level on may 5th to be able to awaken this amas that means no longer do you have to see a guru individually and dedicate your life to it you actually can just go to a regular meeting in uh, charlotte north carolina and have that tremendous experience um this experience will be very subtle and it uh, only a little bit of that kundalini will be awakened but it will give you the ability to have that vibrational awareness and that thoughtlessness that then gives gives you the true meditation the true meditation that takes place above the sixth chakra even above the seventh chakra right um and it gives you that self realization um and that's that's in a nutshell <laughs> okay yeah oh, very nice miss panel yeah i i think uh i would like you know now point to mr narsim harao like you know i think the caller said that he's already doing the sun salutations and all which is actually the physical part and most of us actually tend to believe that yoga is just like you know the the postures and breathing 
but what we are talking here uh, on sahaja yoga discussion is i think as you mentioned earlier this energy is already within and then it just has to be realized to connect uh, to the divine so this is like you know kind of a mental or a spiritual experience is what i am actually inferring to based on uh, the facts that i have in front of me from our discussion uh, i think let's move a little uh, like you know deeper into the discussion uh, can you uh, like you know explain kundalini i mean we keep hearing this whenever we talk about meditation there is a kundalini energy people talk about it what exactly is it like you know in very simple terms sure uh, j- just before that i just want to add something that what cornelia said to to really answer mr ravinder's question is that uh, we have we always talk about mind body and soul we do exercise for the body we do some pranayam and we do some mind exercises mm-hmm. for the mind and body and then for the soul what actually is the soul yes they are all related to an extent soul also gets helped when we do all these things but actually soul is the inner spirit the, our in own inner self in our hindu scriptures if you go back we have three bodies we said three sharidas that is mm-hmm. one as sthula sharida sukshma sharida and karana sharida so this is what is the actual karana sharida the the very purpose of our living very purpose of being a human being living with a spirit inside us so that's the connection to the divine that that's what uh, this differentiates from the other yoga practices people do and to okay. coming to the your question arvind and kundalini again mm-hmm. this sanskrit word kundalini means coiled kundala is coiled so this mm-hmm. is a coiled so why like what uh, ms cornelia just explained we all have born with uh, an energy and when we are babies we are all connected to the divine energy as we keep growing the connection recedes down and sits in a doormat shape in a sacrum bone it's a triangular bone below our uh, spine bottom of the spine we have a triangular bone called sacrum bone mm-hmm. uh, it's probably called by sacrum in greek uh, probably because they also know somehow that it is sacred that's why they call it a sacrum bone that's where this it, it stays in doormat symbolically in a coiled shape so that's what it is kundalini is okay very good uh, good to know about that but uh... i want to just deviate from our like you know deep discussion i wanted to ask like a general question because sometimes like when uh, we keep hearing from people who meditate that uh, you would have that calling that 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 uh, that push will come from within sometime in some way so, so how did that happen with you i would like you know first go with miss cornelia how did you actually get in touch with uh, sahaja yoga what was the calling that made uh, made you like you know born in austria austria and then like you know how did you get connected uh, with sahaja yoga yeah so i was at the time in my life i was 22 years old and didn't really know what to do with myself and i've been reaching out to uh, friends of mine asking for a yoga practice and everybody was kind of referring me to that exercise type of practice mm-hmm. uh me myself being a ballet dancer almost all my life you know when i was young uh exercise was not what i was looking for i was actually looking for something that could help me in my life um to see the purpose of it right mm-hmm. um personally i feel 22 years old is a very difficult <laughs> time in your life sometimes where you kind of in the in the middle you're of experience yeah you're at the right? crossroads yeah yes at the crossroads right and so i was looking and looking and um i didn't i didn't really know at this point i was looking basically what you would call in india for guru right mm-hmm. to guide me but be, being grown growing up in the west that was not something that you would actually be asking for looking for uh till a friend of mine who I believe was in the same situation some years before um said to me you know what 
I have found this practice of meditation has helped me a lot, right? And it actually gives you your, it awakens your own guruship, your own masterhood within yourself. Um, Chimatashi is the founder, but it is all built within you, right? To have that mm -hmm. experience. Uh, it took me a while to realize um, what he was trying to tell me and that this was actually what I was looking for. And then he finally um, took me to one of uh, the weekly meetings that they had in Vienna. And that moment, it all fell into place. Um, oh, I immediately felt the vibrations. I immediately realized who Shimatachi is. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it is not... From, from there on, the practice of yoga starts, right? The discipline. But if you have that awakening to begin with, it is easy because it's something you desired all your life. It's something that finally gives you the, uh, gives you the answers to your questions and gives you also that fulfillment. And uh, through the meditation, things in my life just started to work out automatically. Very interesting. Like Very interesting. And yeah, now I would like to go to Mr. Narsimha Rao to find how did he get connected with Sahaj Yoga? Sure, Arvind. Yeah, I'm not uh, as fortunate as Cornelia is. Mm. I, I, I'm, I got to know about Sahaj Yoga meditation only in my 40s. So, I, I, before that, I was, I was living in India and I had been going to different practices of meditation and yoga. All these things I've been connecting to an extent. Mm -hmm. But again, I came to know about Sahaj Yoga through again one of our friends and in my 40s and then we started i and my wife both started uh, at the same time Sahaja yoga meditation as soon as the first day when i meditated i i know i'm connected i felt really connected and that's no turning back from then for the last uh, more than 12 years i've been practicing every day in the morning and evening and uh, i had been you know spreading this word to everyone wh whom i know and i okay. can get to contact with okay very good actually yeah uh, i i think now i know how you got connected now i want to like you know dig a little deeper like you know we talked about kundalini and whenever we talk about meditation we also hear about uh, some energy centers chakras can you just briefly elaborate like you know i, I think i would give it to mr narsimha rao like you know yeah. What exactly are these chakras, and uh, what, 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 why should we even like you know work on them? Yeah, this knowledge actually is not something that is recent. That is, this is very ancient. It is always there in ancient scriptures. In fact, of all the religions, but with the same good Sanskrit names in Hindu religion, it's it's uh, it's very ancient. You know, people like Adi Shankaracharya had uh, talked in detail. In Soundarya Lahari, he had uh, he had talked about uh, Kundalini and non chakras very detailed, and mm -hmm. a lot of people today in Hindus recite Lalita Sahasrama. It is thousand names of uh, Mother Sri Lalita that has dealt with the Kundalini and all the chakras. So, what are these chakras? Are the the Kundalini, as I said, is actually dormant shape in the triangular bone, but we have three energy channels from there. There's one on the left, we call it as Ida Nadi, and one on the right, we call it as Pingala Nadi, and one on the center, we call it as Sushumna Nadi. So this energy travels in the central channel, that is Sushumna Nadi. That's where there are seven chakras. These chakras, we can take, say it as energy centers. That's actually very significant nerve joints, nerve junctions. Mm -hmm. We have a mm -hmm. lot of nerve junctions these are significant nerve junctions that really affect our body mind as well as the soul okay uh, so now uh, i think like you know this is like i mean i've heard of these uh, uh, channels actually and then as you said these chakras but why would uh, somebody need to work on them what is the benefit like you know i mean i know kundalini should be awakened uh, are there any benefits like you know if uh, what needs to be done on these chakras you want to take uh, Cornelia? sure every uh, so each chakra in our, on a subtle on a subtle body right on a subtle system represent um, a quality 
uh, the qualities that we all look for and want to establish. Um, these are things like innocence, wisdom, joy, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So when this Kundalini rises through these energy centers up to the seventh chakra, these uh, qualities of these energy, uh, energy centers start to manifest themselves. And on a, on a physical, subtle level, that means that the, the chakra, that energy wheel, starts mm -hmm. to turn clockwise and starts to emit what we call these vibrations. So not only will you feel it within yourself, but it will be also emitting around you and it mm -hmm. will also affect the people around you. Okay, very um, good to know. I think I want to interrupt you for a second. I think mm -hmm. we may have a caller now, Ms. Cornelia. Uh, yeah. Hello, welcome to Telugu Nara Radio. Who's this? Uh, hello, Namaste. Uh, I'm calling from I'm Gauri, and this is completely new for me, actually. I heard about this yoga, but I have one mm -hmm. question regarding the kids. Like, I know these video games and everything are making their mind so busy. So, if there is anything in the Sahaj Yoga which can control the uh, school, like, uh, takes the kids' uh, levels down. Because they're all yeah, actually, and... very good question, Ms. Gauri. Actually, this was uh, definitely one of the questions I had, but I think... Now that somebody had asked, uh, like, you know, I think maybe we can uh, answer it. I think, I mean, can, uh, Mr. Narsimaro, can you take that question? Normally, in our, uh, people say meditation is for, like, you know, people who are getting old. But can Sahaj meditation help kids, especially in this time of stress with gadgets and peer pressure and all that? Sure, yeah. It uh, Actually, this is a meditation, it, it, it is more good if you start early, early at the age. When they are young, if they start, it is even better. Uh, when they are actually babies, as, as we talked about, we are all connected. But as we keep growing, we just recede, that energy recedes down. But when they connect to this, they start meditating. Maybe children can't really meditate for a long time, but that's mm -hmm. fine. Even if they meditate for a while, because of their connection as a younger age, they don't have any troubles from the past or anything that really they get connected even faster. They feel the vibrations much faster than adults feel. I've seen when we give realizations in the schools in India or even here, when we give, when we meditate with smaller children, they feel much better. They, they really say, the, oh, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling inside. I'm feeling in my fingers. They say immediately. And as they keep doing it, that, that keeps them really calm inside. And that keeps them in this world of a uh, lot of distractions and disturbances. That that keeps them really calm inside. And that helps them in a lot of walks of life. Oh, very good to know. I think, thank you, Ms. Gauri, for bringing up this excellent question. Uh, so, listeners, uh, I know this is everybody's problem. Like, you know, whoever has kids, uh, like, you know, uh, they have these challenges. And then, like, you know, meditation, as Mr. Narsimha Rao had mentioned, will help the kid so maybe it's time to look at that solution in order to like you know groom the kids uh, so again uh, for listeners who have uh, joined late today we are discussing about sahaj yoga meditation and we have with us experienced practitioners uh, miss cornelia waker and mr narsimha rao so if you have any questions please do call us at 919-701-2005 and if you're in India, 9705222005. And if you're in UK, 1158882005. And on Skype, Telugu NRI Radio. So again, coming back to that question on the kids, so catch them young is good even on the meditation side. So that's what I get uh, from your answer. Uh, so now uh, my next question, I want to like, you know, take it to Miss Cornelia. Like, you know, uh, there is a, like, you know, in this modern world, when our comforts have actually increased so much, we don't even toil so much harder as our like you know ancestors used to, but our stress has increased leaps and bounds. Either we are worried about something in the past or we are planning about something in the future. And today, all most of the major ailments, uh, like you know the doctors say, 
oh this this is because of the stress starting from like you know acidity to blood pressure to whatever so how would Hello? like you know meditation help and thank you miss gauri uh, for your question hi a question is there any... yeah who is this hi this is smita from new jersey hi smita welcome to telugunara radio thanks for calling what is your question i have been listening to this program from the beginning and i'm very curious to know that uh, the self realization can can we be given this now over the radio <laughs> that's a good question actually <laughs> no i think i would like to like you know that is not possible because we have so many other questions to like you know work on but definitely i can give you the contact uh, like you know uh, details uh, like in at the end we will share the contact details of uh, like you know sahaj yoga uh, meditation in your local area or like you know you can connect with uh, like you know our distinguished guests and then you can get the self realization maybe after this show itself uh, oh i'm very much interested i'm very very grateful if uh, i've been able to get to my self realization from them today oh very nice and mr narsimha rao or miss kalindia would you mind like you know uh, like you know taking uh, like you know giving any contact information because now there is like an occasion somebody is asking you sure you know sahaj yoga has lot of centers all over the america and all over more than 150 countries now there's lot of people who practice and uh, the best way to contact as a, as a general note is to check in a search if you have any facebook meetup or even bright check for sahaj yoga meditation you, i'm sure most of the people will get a nearby place where they can go to a class and uh, get the self realization but of course in this uh, covid situation a lot of uh, people are doing online meditations so there are lot of online meditations are happening and uh, miss mita the, the there are a lot of people who are practitioners in new jersey new york area and uh, i'm sure you can easily get the local contact but if uh, this, this international yoga day that is coming up in the next sunday 21st of june like what armin mentioned so we are having a special program on 21st of uh, uh, june so we can we can share you with the contact and the, how you can get into the zoom zoom meditation link that we can get the self realization from okay thank, uh, you. thank you smita for calling you so uh, any question any other uh, question you have now no this is it thank you so much okay. i'm really looking yeah. forward to it bye bye yeah i appreciate it i think you will get all the details i think maybe at the end we would cover those uh, items and do look for that information thank you for calling telugu nr radio uh, i think we'll go back to miss cornelia about like you know stress management uh, how can sahaj yoga meditation help us so as uh, mr narsi said earlier there are three channels uh, within our subtle system right the left mm-hmm. side as we call it the right side and the center um generally speaking when you do not have uh, that kundalini awakening uh, that the that rises within the shushumna uh, nadi the central channel you uh, either in the left or on the right which means you either in the past or very emotional or you in the future very active mm-hmm. that also correlates that you think a lot about the past or think a lot about the future and that uses um, as, as you said uh also that uh, maybe the children are not as active as we used to be or has to work so hard but mm-hmm. we also that a lot of uh, young people suffer from an anxiety right it's like social anxiety because they're exposed to so many things and okay. do not know what's right or wrong and where which direction they should be going nor do the parents often know right how to guide the children so with this meditation you actually Uh, you are able to put your attention into the center into the present and this is where that divine we call it divine intuition starts to act mm-hmm. and helps you to overcome those uh, this excessive thinking which mm-hmm. also leads sometimes to excessive worrying right we all worry uh, mm-hmm. but if you go to the doctor and the doctor says stop worrying you're like mm-hmm. yeah right <laughs> <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tool that can slow down your thinking right 
mm-hmm. um, awaken that divine intuition with, within you and starts to guide you and shows you simple as that, the right and the wrong. Um, very nice. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, now the question is, what does like, you know, anybody like, you know, we just now had a caller, uh, Smita, who wants to start the self-realization. What is like needed uh, for that? Like, you know, do we need like a yoga mat or like, you know, do we need to register? Like, you know, somebody wants to get realization or want to start practicing Sahib Yoga meditation. What are the minimum basic requirements? Mr. Narsi Marao, uh, okay, can you take this question? Sure. Yeah. The thing is, it doesn't really require anything else other than yourself. If you have the desire to get the self-realization, like what Ms. Smitha has expressed the desire, if mm-hmm. you have the desire to do it, it would automatically be make you eligible for doing this. So you, you just have to find a person who has already been practicing Sahaja Yoga and who can give you the self-realization and he can show you, take you through the steps and then take you through the meditation pro- meditation course so you can get yourself connected, get the re- realization and practice the meditation every day and you, you experience a transformation within yourself. All of us who have been meditating for a long time, it, it's not just a relaxation technique. Of course, relaxation is the immediate thing that happens, but mm-hmm. we actually get transformed over a period of time and we know, we are aware of our own change, our own transformation. Okay. Now, uh, I have like a uh, add-on question, like, you know, is there like any registration? Is there any fee associated with Sahaja Yoga meditation? Because those things are the basic things, like, you know, everybody keeps asking. So the benefit of all the listeners, I wanted to ask you that question. What is involved in starting this? Very good question. When Shimadji Nirmala Devi started in 1970, one thing she said, money and power are two things that distracts the spiritual spirituality so she said first thing we don't charge anything this is this is so valuable that we cannot this cannot be charged and this is also everyone's energy it is not someone else giving it is when when you are taking a self realization it is actually you are awakening your own energy so this is always free of charge anywhere in the world always it is done by the volunteers who have been practicing this meditation and oh, you well. don't need any registration or anything. You just have to know about the place and time that this is happening. And you just have to go request them and or join them to get the realization. Okay, very well. Uh, you know, good to know that there is no money involved. I think, Smita, if you are listening or other listeners, so there is no charge. Yes, this is like, you know, something very ancient. And it's been coming and then I think it is being passed on by the Sahaja Yoga practitioners. So if you are interested, get in touch with them in your local area and then you would have all the details. So now continuing with uh, like, you know, our discussion, uh, like, you know, stress management. I have read many places like, you know, in many journals or like, you know, news articles that meditation has some effect in treating like you know some very like you know long-term lifestyle based diseases like you know it controls like autism and then like you know uh, alzheimer's like you know, all these things have been like you know published what is like you know your experience or like you know do you agree with them what has been your experience uh, like you know cornelia would you like to take that question so from um the, the root of a disease, the, the root actually comes from your subtle system, from your chakras. And as you very well put it, from then your lifestyle that you're leading according to it. So going back to the example earlier about worrying, um, mm-hmm. we know a lot of people do get ulcers from worrying, right? Yes, uh, yes. It comes from uh, unsatisfaction, right? From... from and so, for instance, if you balance yourself, mm-hmm. uh, this can be cured on a subtle level and goes away by itself. Um, so once the, once the disease has manifested itself, you actually, the only way to cure it is to go to the root of it. The meditation itself is not purely here to heal you. We call it, it's basically a side effect of the meditation. And it's also something very logical that should happen 
if you balance your subtle system, then consequently you should become also healthy. So I've seen people being cured from high blood pressure, from mm -hmm. heart disease, from cancer, um, from from all sorts. And and other things is also you start dropping your bad habits, uh, drinking, smoking, eating too much, you know, uh, being gravitated to the things that are not good for you. Instead, you realize and can actually do it to have a healthier lifestyle automatically because you you start to love yourself more, you start to take care of yourself, and you also notice the bad habits that we have taken on. Um, this can be just things from our surroundings, from our conditionings, and all these things start to drop off over time. It can also cure, of course, mental diseases, um, you know, associated with depression. But again, that is not necessarily the focus. The focus is really to have that spiritual awakening, to start to meditate and mm -hmm. consequently become healthy. Okay, so as you start practicing, these other things will just fall in their place, is what you're saying. Yeah. And I also want to quickly mention, we do have also techniques that we can uh, uh, teach people who are interested who come to the meetings or even over online. Uh, we can share some of the techniques that we use, such as sitting on the Mother Earth, uh, having the, the sun at the back of your head to clear out your the past. So we use a lot of natural remedies, maybe very well known, but we moved away over the years, you know, thinking a pill can is a quicker fix, right? Okay, so you have like a permanent but a slow fix. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Well, very good to know. Actually, so these are like, you know, so many people have these uh, issues. Uh, having like you know a healthy body mind and soul definitely is everybody's like you know uh, intent uh, mm -hmm. and if meditation helps and and that costs nothing then it cannot be better than this well like you know moving forward uh, like you know to my other question like you know now we have seen uh, the importance of meditation the side effects and the major effects of what this meditation has uh, on an individual who starts practicing this covid-19 definitely has like you know put so much pressure on people uh, and i think uh, mentally everybody is stressed because this lockdown has not uh, something people have seen in the past uh, how did it impact sahaj yoga and its practitioners uh, mr narsimha rao you want to take that question Sure. Yeah. Uh, it actually, when we we uh, some of us actually we've been doing online meditation before even the COVID happens, and when once this COVID ushered in, actually we pe people have been doing all the online meditations, and this has been equally effective or even more effective at at places and times. So this in these times when people have been going through a stress and uncertainty, they when they connect to this meditation, when they actually meditate, they feel that immediately that they are relieved of that stress. Almost immediately, some of the people have expressed that this really relieves uh, us from the stress. And uh, yeah, just, just to add to what the stress management, what Cornelia explained, uh, mm -hmm. in medically, we just have, uh, just in a neuroscience terminology, we have something called sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. I'm not from medical background, but from what Shimadji has explained, sympathetic nervous system is a flight and fight kind of nervous system where we, when we have a fear, when we have an anger, the body, heart started pumping more blood to the brain, and this automatically happens. This reflex actions that really nervous systems make sure that happens is sympathetic nervous system. But actually, the parasympathetic nervous system is the one that brings one into the complete calmness and rest. So that parasympathetic nervous system is one we are that that Shimaji calls it as the left and right uh, channels 
or sympathetic mm-hmm. nervous systems and the central channel that sushumna nadi is actually anomalous to the parasympathetic nervous system when we are in present when we are in completely getting to a state of thoughtless awareness so this is primary goal one of the main primary goals for uh, surge yoga meditation is to reach this thoughtless awareness where we are not thinking but we are very much alert and aware so this is the state when we are in we are coming to the present and we are in thoughtless awareness state we automatically in the central channel into the parasympathetic nervous system that actually balances us and comes to a calmer state so as we keep practicing this meditation all through our life we automatically get to that state whenever required whenever we intend to so that all just we need is just morning and evening we just need to practice this meditation so it doesn't require anything in the covid situation also people have been meditating and it has been enormous benefits okay yeah well good to know actually uh, to the listeners who have joined late today we are discussing about sahaj yoga meditation and we have with us uh, mr narsimha rao and miss cornelia uh, experienced practitioners from sahaj yoga and who have been very nicely answering uh, different questions related to this meditation and uh, it's so awesome like you know that they have uh, explained as so much about like you know the body the system and then like you know the energy centers and all so if you have any questions uh, please do call us uh, on skype it is telugu nr radio and if you are in us it is 9197012005 you can ask them a question or you can like you know add anything uh, like you know it's all up to you so please do call us uh now moving on to my next question uh yoga has been yoga meditation has been there since like long time uh but again the international yoga day uh, which came into being like you know i think 6 years ago in 2015 uh what is in your opinion like you know mr narsimha rao like you know has it helped spread the message uh, like you know to take it across the masses uh, how did it uh, add Uh, like you know help people yeah it definitely it definitely in giving a platform for this awareness of the people for a lot of uh, yoga and meditation practices that last 6 years you know thanks to the people who have been you know intending to start and the support from the leaders uh, and people who have been organizing a lot of platforms for all this and it's been really helpful and sa yoga has always been in every international yoga day a lot of uh, sahaja yoga centers in all over the world have been doing a lot of uh, self realization sessions and meditation helps to the people okay good to know that uh, so miss cornelia my question is like you know let's say somebody wants to start the practice or like you know and uh, the self realization uh, like you know they get it what, what are the basic requirements like you know when do we do it for how long do we do it do we do it every day uh, like you know can you answer some of those questions yeah. like you know what is a good time to do it like you know those kind of things people might have they might appear to be silly i mean like you know but again they they do matter actually uh, can can you give some uh, yes. like you know information around that yeah just the practical side of it right which is very mm-hmm. important for us to actually start doing this because it is a practice uh, the first step is the desire right the second mm-hmm. step is having the experience and then the third is the practicing of it because the more you practice the more you meditate the stronger this uh, um experience becomes the stronger the, the the awareness becomes and and you get more balanced so what what we advise also from our individual experience right from our personal experience and also what shimata she has recommended it is really good to get up in the morning uh maybe have your cup of tea and then sit down somewhere in a quiet dedicated space in your house or where you live mm-hmm. and uh practice that meditation right and again when you uh join any of our meetings we tell you already in the first meeting we give you the experience and we also tell you how to meditate right um and we but we are very much alert and aware so this is the state when we are in we are coming to the present and we are in thoughtless awareness state we automatically in the central channel into the parasympathetic nervous system that actually balances us and comes to a calmer state 
So as we keep practicing this meditation all through our life, we automatically get to that state whenever required, whenever we intend to. So that all just we need is just morning and evening, we just need to practice this meditation. So it doesn't require anything. In the COVID situation also, people have been meditating and it has been enormous benefits. Okay, yeah, well, good to know. Actually, uh, to the listeners who have joined late, today we are discussing about Sahaja Yoga meditation. And we have with us uh, Mr. Narsimha Rao and Ms. Cornelia, uh, experienced practitioners from Sahaja Yoga and who have been very nicely answering uh, different questions related to this meditation. And uh, uh, it's so awesome, like, you know, that they have uh, explained as so much about, like, you know, the body, the system, and then, like, you know, the energy centers and all. So if you have any questions, uh, please do call us. Uh, on Skype, it is Telugu NRA Radio. And if you're in US, it is 919-701-2005. You can ask them a question or you can, like, you know, add anything. Uh, like, you know, it's all up to you. So please do call us. Uh, now, moving on to my next question. Uh, you encourages to practice it individually, individually at home. Mm-hmm. But what uh, actually makes the experience stronger is that these collective meditations. So as uh, mentioned earlier with COVID-19, we more and more practice this, uh, the collective meditations online. Mm-hmm. But we also used to and hopefully have again seminars again where a lot of people come together, sometimes in the thousands, and mm-hmm. we all sit together and meditate. And you, at that point, you go beyond time. But it's not it's not a trance, right? It's uh, you know um, an an awareness, right? But uh, um, it can become very strong when you collectively practice this meditation. Plus, also eventually you will have the desire to be with people who understand and practice the same, right? So that kind of goes hand in hand. Okay. Yeah, just to, to add, uh, mm-hmm. sorry, mm-hmm. Arvind, yeah. just to add yeah. to the collective, uh, the, the effect of collective. I always give the example of if I am a runner on the road, I I really enjoy running on the road. Uh, yeah, of course, when I am running individually on the road, I enjoy it. But when I actually running as a part of marathon. Mm-hmm. That's a completely different experience, right? Actually, running doesn't require other people, but when we are running as a part of the marathon, that that spirits really join. This is a simple example, but when we do actually meditation together, the collective joy is really enormous. Okay, yeah, there's more energy. You're saying like you know when it is done in a group. Yes, uh, you, we are all connected. A... We are all connected in a different way. Every one of us are connected through the divine. That is, yeah, that is what I have heard also. Like, you know, people say if you're in the company of, like, you know, people doing, uh, like, you know, similar thing, then the benefit also increases. Well, uh, good to know that. Uh, Now, my question is, like, you know, I think we are almost coming to the end of our session now. International Yoga Day is a very good platform for people to connect with like, you know, or like change their lifestyle to understand or get into some new yoga or like, you know, other health stuff. Uh, So can you give us like, you know, any details about like, you know, if you're organizing any events, uh, like, you know, at least in your area, because it falls next Sunday. Uh, so that like you know listeners now because of covid it is on like you know on an online platform so they can connect from anywhere so could you share any details if you have some yeah sure there are multiple programs going all over the world and all over the united states uh, the one we as a um, practitioners in north carolina we have been actually getting together to organize a sahaja yoga sessions on 21st of uh, june morning 10 o'clock afternoon 2 o'clock and evening 6 o'clock three programs of self-realization where we teach the meditation Uh, one of us in the practitioners would teach online the meditation the details you can get on the facebook of uh, rally or charlotte or uh, there are pages for the facebook or uh, facebook sajoga rtp area rally area or in the charlotte area we have two different facebooks you can get those details or you can touch in the meetup there are meetup programs all these three events we have zoom links in the meetups you can search in the meetup now uh, yeah we are also planning to be there in the youtube uh, 
uh, if you search in any any of these places you should be able to find the links for the url links for the meditation or you can contact me on my phone uh, i can give you my contact number yeah, as in us uh, it is 339-206-1180. Okay, Again, uh, could you repeat that? Uh, yep, 339. 206-1180. So Smita, if you are listening, uh, you can actually contact uh, Mr. Narsima Rao uh, after this uh, program uh, because you were very curious about this. Uh, so again, uh, listeners, if you are like you know trying to get connected with meditation sahaja yoga meditation is like a good choice that you have and then as mr narsimha rao has mentioned there are events many events getting organized so please do search up uh, their like you know facebook pages or websites that were mentioned and then get connected uh, bring change to your life we are almost uh, at the end of our like you know this discussion so I'll ask this question to both of you. Uh, first, with uh, like to Miss Cornelia, uh, anything, any final words you want to add, uh, like you know about Sahaja Yoga meditation before we sign off for today? Any final appeal to the listeners, or like you know anything you wanted to say? For us, it's as important to practice as also to share the experience. So thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to talk about this for an hour to your listeners. That That is tremendous also for us in and help, help us ourselves in our growth. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Narsimha Rao? Yeah, Shimataji said, uh, we, if we all want the peace in the world, if we are all individually have the peace inside, then whole world will be peaceful. So that's what Shimaji said. If we are all peaceful inside, then whole world will be peaceful. That's the message Shimaji has given. And thank you very much for this opportunity, Arvind and Telugu NRI Radio. And please reach out to me if you need any more details or any any other questions you have. Yeah, thank you so much, Ms. Cornelia and Mr. Narsimha Rao. It was an honor to actually have you on the call. I have learned so much about meditation and like, you know, so much about the chakras and then like, you know, how it can have like, you know, a very subtle influence on your lifestyle and also came to know that like, you know, it can help even kids. You know, this was like, you know, something uh, everybody's challenge actually. So very, it was Good to have you and I enjoyed thoroughly this discussion. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, so listeners, as you know, today we had this tremendous discussion like, you know, about Sahaja Yoga meditation on the occasion of International Yoga Day. Uh, again, uh, every week, two o'clock, uh, we have uh, like, you know, some topic of interest where we pick the topic and then have a thorough discussion with the experts on it. Uh, so, on the occasion of International Yoga Day, I appeal to everyone to get connected with something that can actually influence your life in a positive way. Meditation is definitely one of it. So, once again, uh, this is RJ Arvind signing off from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'll see you next week. Keep listening to Tilgo NRI Radio, the heartbeat of all the NRIs. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.